Well, hi everybody out there in Facebook land. <laughs> okay, this is Allison Heath, the longevity rescuer, with another fireside chat. And uh, today I really like to examine why you want to work at home. So, I do work from home, and I don't have a schedule that I have to follow. So when it's lousy weather, I stay home. Well, today, because I had this back injury, hi Anna, <laughs> I'm glad you're watching. Anyway, because I had this back injury, I had no choice but to go to a doctor's appointment. And it was snowing. So when I left, it was snowing. It wasn't exactly terrific. Hi, Elena. And uh, so anyway, I get in my car and I start driving. I have an all-wheel drive car. It's a very uh, good car on the road and so on. So I thought, okay, you know, I'll make the best of it. Did my appointment as I'm driving there. Oh my God. <laughs> the first thing that happens is this big snow plow thing that's like a double truck because in the back he had all the sand and everything. So, um, hi Louise, I'm glad you could join me. Anyway, he had all the sand in the car and uh, in the back of this thing. And he was just putting slush all over my car. I could barely see. So I'm moving way back and back of him, slowing down, and it's still slush, slush, slush. So then he pulls over to the side of the road, and he's got his four-way flashers going. So I couldn't, you know, I thought, oh, geez, he's, he's letting me by. And I was so happy about it. So I start to pass him. And he was going over to the edge because he was turning into this little side road. Oh, my God. I just had to slam on the brakes. And thank God I could stop in time. And I didn't crash into the guy. But it really put the fear of God in me. Hi, Ruth. So I really, uh, you know, I made it there. And as I'm driving along, there's a car smashed into the rocks in the ditch and so on. And I thought, oh. God, this is like just horrible driving conditions. I get to my appointment. I get out of my appointment, and I'm like in pain <laughs> again, always. And uh, uh, so anyway, hi there, Dennis. Good to see you. So I'm in this like pain, but it's snowing. Cats and dogs, if you can snow cats and dogs. Anyway, it's just snowing a ton. And uh, I start driving home, and the road. Well, it turns out I live on what has been voted four years in a row as the most dangerous road in Canada. It's all this winding stuff, and if you go off the road, it's like drop down into the lake. It's very dangerous. So I'm going along this road, and I see more cars in the ditch. And then I see this car flipped over, and he's gone over like they've put some places. They've got cement barriers in where they've done new road anyway it's just flipped over on upside down and I'm thinking like oh shit I don't even know I had passed an ambulance coming my way and the ambulance didn't have its lights on or anything like it wasn't flashing and stuff and I thought oh my god probably that guy's dead and the ambulance is just taking the corpse back uh, it was just horrible there was no way that I could stop. Hi, Karen. I'm glad you could join me. And Robbie. Oh, Robbie. Love you so much. Anyway, so all these things are going on with this horrible hazardous road condition. I get to the resort where I live and I have to drive down this very steep hill to get to where I am. Well, I'm driving down this hill and I can only go like a stone's throw. You know, like I've got the brakes on and I'm just like, easing off the brakes and my car is just sideways and this way and that way and I thought oh my god am I going to make it so I was just kind of like meditating and putting my focus within and going oh please 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 and it really struck me well first of all the irony that I'm going to the doctors to repair myself from a car accident and I'm going in this like death defying road in horrendous conditions where people are having accidents right left and center 
So that struck me as pretty ironic. <clears throat> but when I got home, I started to think how blessed I am and how grateful I am that I can work from home and how important that is. Because if you consider the amount of time that people commute to and fro their work every single day, you know, if you added up all those hours, it would be a huge amount of time. And then, okay, you got to look at all the gas you're going to put into your vehicle to do that, the insurance, everything. And with all that time that you're wasting driving and the tension and so on, I don't know. I wasn't a, a tense driver, but I am now. <laughs> That's for sure. But if you're looking at, at, you know, all of those variables and stuff like that, it's just a horror story. I mean, really, when there are other options, there are better ways to do it in life. You know, this nine to five commute or whatever the time is that you have to commute or one of the people who has joined my team to work with me, she um, still has her, her regular work which, you know, she's very good at, she loves, she's an RN, and so on. Well, what she's doing is she has to work night shifts, and then it switches around, and sometimes it's day shifts. And she was telling me about the amount of politics involved. I mean, it's horrendous. It's backstabbing. And people are so stressed out and so unhappy, and so on. And yet... There is another way. I had the most interesting description of the work that I do. What it was, was I keep or I send parents back to their children. <laughs> and it's so true because when you work from home, you get to be with your kids as they're growing up or you get to be with your grandchildren or whatever it is. And if you can find something to do from home where you are, are you know, um, I'm just trying to see. I can't see what you've said, Elena, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I will message you right after this, uh, this Facebook Live and so on. I think it was that you couldn't, uh, you couldn't access this uh, uh, superfood that I was going to help you with so that you could not be in pain. I mean, my gosh, with all the work you're doing, with the farming and the dogs and everything else, it's horrendous. So, you know, you really do need help, Elena. <laughs> and I am here to rescue you. That's what I am, the longevity rescuer. But I'd like to rescue everybody that's going to a job and commuting and going through, I don't know what they have currently for conditions in Australia, but I do know there's been some really vicious rainstorms that have come through and so on there's flooding in some areas and so on you know it's, it makes such a difference to your life when you can work from home and you can earn a good living and you can help other people and you can communicate I mean here we are with the internet it's global it's global now and if you've got a, a global business that you can be helping people, you can be earning money, you can really be making a difference and an impact in the world, and you don't have to leave home if you don't want to. <laughs> when the weather's great, fine. Go for a ride. Do your, do your things that you've got to do. But uh, really, it makes sense to work from home. I mean, <clears throat> it took me about two hours once I got home to stop shaking. It was just white knuckle driving. And I'm, I'm looking outside and it's still snowing like crazy. So there's more people that are coming home from work right now that are facing this kind of stuff, that are looking at these upside down cars and, and, and these cars smashed into rocks in the ditch and stuff. I don't know about you, but I'd be inclined to look for a better way. <laughs> I really would. And if you're interested, I can certainly help you because, you know, I know it, I see it, I do it, and it works. And if you can have 
the kind of time freedom, and you don't have to do those commutes, what a difference your life can be. So I encourage you to think about that. <laughs> Contact me, message me, uh, you know, whatever. Get in touch with me. I can help you, I promise. And I have more than ever a desire to do so after today. Oh my God, all the poor people out there on the roads, you have my full sympathy. So anyway, I, I just wanted to share with you that epitome or light bulb moment that went on. Really, there's a better way you can work from home. So anyway, I am going to um, sign off. Thank you for the love. I really appreciate that. Right now, I'm kind of in a state of gratitude, heavy duty gratitude to be alive. Oh, and gratitude to have a good solid car that is all wheel drive. But even then, you know, there's like this little kind of a rectangular thing on the dashboard that just kept flashing. It, it's like a little warning light that flashes when your tires are spinning. <laughs> and I mean, it was flashing like crazy because there was black ice underneath slippery, slippery snow. So the whole thing was just a recipe for disaster. So if you are commuting, if you are doing that commute, if you're going to a job where there's politics, if you're working shift work, which is just horrible for your health, I thoroughly encourage you to contact me. And, you know, if you want help with your health and your well-being and looking younger and feeling better, I can help you with that too. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, I'm just bursting at the seams to help you with. So anyway, with that, I'm going to leave you. And if you are going on some commute home, um, God be with you. May the universal forces protect you and, and so on. And all the best to everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>